In this video, I'm going to be explaining Zato Safe Jump and why you shouldn't use it. Um, for starters, if you get a knockdown and have Eddy Meter, there should be no reason for you to go for a Safe Jump. You can safely set up Eddy Drills by spacing Eddy, keeping him safe, and setting up your mix up. There's nothing they can do about it. Zato's safe jump move I found to be the best was JS. It's quick and it's easy to time. You can also use JH, but I personally found it harder to time because you have to time for the hitbox to be in front of Zato and under him because in the startup it's not. I personally don't use the safe jump. I have an alternative which I find to be safer, but you get less reward depending on the spacing. Now as for the better, what I think to be the better alternative, I'll show you here in a second. It's meaty 22H or meaty and by hell. What I like about the meaty 22H is that it works at any distance, any knockdown. So, and the sooner you do it, the meatier you're gonna be. So if you're at close distance or a medium distance, you can pretty much get a guaranteed 5H, like a gapless 5H into like a 22H, or if you have, if you get Eddie by the time, you could do like dr drills or anything, depending on your opponent's character and their habits. If you see that they're not mashing DP on you, then you can get with gapless pressure and stall longer for Eddie. Usually, the setup if you're doing a gapless with a 5H into drills or into invite hell, I mean, then you could get like half your Eddie Eddie gauge back. That's if you don't stall at all. And if you do stall, I usually get about two thirds to three quarters. If you want to be completely reversal safe, you're going to have to. The timing might be a little strict, but it's not too hard to get it down. I found it to be easier than the safe jump. And you can be pretty much safe against any reversal. Like here, I'm being completely safe and can punish Ram with my immediate edge. It's also reactable whether they get hit or blocked. So in the clips before, I was completely reacting to whether they were blocking the meaty, meaty invite hell or they were getting hit. The reward might not be so good, but it gives you more than enough time to get your eddy meter back, which is what you want. Stalling for time. The setup I also really found to be super useful in the corner. You become ex, you become super plus because the hitbox is so delayed because it ex it's expanding as it as the active frames go. But yeah, they got to block. They're going to have to block it. They cannot do anything. If they block, then you get gapless pressure here in the corner at max, like at closest range. If they get hit, then you get full combo. I also find it really good to do strike throw in the corner if they block the meaty 2H. Like mixing them up whether you're going to go for grab or you're going to keep a block string. So, yeah. My name is Inko and this was my take on Zato safe jump and a better alternative. Uh, I always respond to my comments if you have suggestions, questions, or you might have maybe a better setup, or maybe you think the safe jump is better, you can give your reasons. Everything is up for discussion in this video. If you want to contact me with any questions about my Zato tech, Discord's in the description. Video was dedicated to Carlos Franco because he asked me to cover this topic in a comment from my last video. And I hope this tech was helpful.